As far as, where's Port Broughton? Right, so between Port Broughton and Pirie, that was all fishing ground. Mm -hmm. So you, you basically stuck to the, to the coastline. Yeah. And also you go up to Port Augusta, all along there. There was a lot of silver whiting. These are, these are the real early boys, in 1912. Wow. So you're really going back a long time. Oh, this fella's old man, that fella there. Mm -hmm. He was the first one, for some reason he ended up in Pirie. Don't know how he made it here. But he actually found out from the Aborigines that they used to catch the fish in the creeks. Okay. And they used to put uh, rocks there and seaweed and somehow they used to catch fish. Yeah. But the, but the gulf was chock a block full of fish. So, so he tweaked straight away and said, well, you know, if the Aborigines can catch fish, mm. must be chock a block out there. Yeah. And they built a lot of broken Yeah, of course. What we think is when they do come here for the Blessing Fleet, we like to think that this is like a beacon in the night. Yeah. That when they come here they can see the stories of their grandparents. Yeah. No, it's so it's almost like a returning point yeah, nice to your roots and heritage. Well, it's very prevalent in the sense of the, that it plays a very important part in the community and the region of Port Pirie because we have very successful business people. Uh, some of our um, Businesses employ up to 50, 60 people in a steelworks. Uh, we have school teachers, we have deputy principal, they play a very important part in the fabric of the multicultural of Port Piri. So, yes, the Italian community does play a very important part. We're very fortunate with the aged care services because the Catholic Church has got St. Joseph's House, uh, which is quite a large aged care facility. And we also have a couple of lifestyle villages and uh, um, the service there is through the Catholic services to the, uh, to the aged care facilities and also to the lifestyle villages. So that's pretty well catered for and we're very fortunate that the, uh, their children, uh, second, third generation, in some cases look after their aging parents. Oh, I consider myself blessed to have been born in Italian and have been brought up as an Aussie because uh, you get the best of both worlds. You get the Italian uh, um, tradition, customs, loyalty, devotion to family and then you end up getting the, the Ocker Australian happy as she go mate and I'm alright Jack and g'day mate. It, it takes a long time to just say g'day mate as only an Aussie could. Having both culture blend into one. Uh, I think we're very fortunate to be able to, to have that, to have the, the custom tradition of the Italian and then have the Yoka easy going type of people.